Okay, now I'm going to do the next uh, mode in the key of G. So we did key of G in the previous uh, three per scale. And just a review, it was uh, three, five, seven, three, five, seven, four, five, seven, four, five, seven, five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight. Okay, so those are all three notes per string, all notes in the key of G. Now the um, next mode in the key of G is, is, is going to be A Dorian. Okay, so the notes in that are going to be A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, and so on. So if I play those, I'm going to start the fifth fret on A. And remember, we only have three different um, shapes with the left hand to, to have to create. One is a stretched kind of one, two, four. Then there's a one, two, four where the one and two are in adjacent frets. And then there's one, three, four where the three and four are on adjacent frets, okay? So this one starts out with a one, three, four. And we're gonna be fifth fret, seventh fret, eighth fret, okay? And then we're gonna do spread, the one, two, four spread. One, uh, so that's gonna be five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine. So we're gonna do that three times in a row. So that's kind of cool because that, once you have that shape down, then you got a little passage of the scale that's going to be very redundant. Okay, so we start out with one that's one three four, but then after that we got three one, spread one one two fours. Okay, again we're doing a um, Dorian here. And then we're going to jump up two frets up to the seventh fret and do seven, eight, 10, seven, eight, 10. So we're gonna go one, two, four, one, two, four. Okay, and that's how we're gonna finish it off. So it's one, or I'm sorry, um, five, seven, eight, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, seven, eight, 10, seven, eight, 10. And that's the A Lydian scale and we end on a D note. So again, we're gonna end a fourth beyond. If you wanna stop at A, you stop at the end of the second string. So be. And I can go down to the G, and I'm right there. And Now I might, when I'm descending, I might go uh, four, two, one, four, two, one, three, one, and then slide down like that, and then finish it off. Um, but in that case, you know, another thing I didn't mention in the last video is these are great legato scales too. Legato means when you just use hammer-ons and pull-offs, pull uh, kind of like Alan Holdsworth would or something. I can even just, I can do all the, all the uh, striking actually done with the, the hammer-ons and the pull-offs. So, now these scales don't particularly sound real modal to me. For some reason, they're not, I mean, even though I'm starting on A here, really what I'm doing is I'm just playing all the notes in the key of G in this in this vicinity here. Just like here, we played the key of G. Here, I'm playing all the notes in the key of G starting with A, which is basically what modes are anyway. Um, but this way, you can kind of um, uh, not, not necessarily have to think of mode. You just, you're in the key of G. Ultimately, what we're going to do is we're going to have all seven of the scales and even the eight, you know, the octave up from this one. Um, all down, and then you'll be able to just kind of play all over the neck, pretty pretty fluid. Okay, you'll find ways, little ways you like to weave in and out of them, and slide down and skip strings and all that stuff. So um, anyway, so that's the Dorian. Let's go over it one more time. Okay, so A, so we're at fifth fret, five, seven, eight, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine. 7, 8, 10, 7, 8, 10. 
10, 8, 7, 10, 8, 7, 9, 7, 5, 9, 7, 5, 9, 7, 5, 8, 7, 5. And if you want, it wants to resolve down to the G, you can do that. Okay. God bless you guys. I uh, hope you got that down. We're going to move on to uh, B. Phrygian next, okay? Thanks.